Today on Street Riding American Style, we're going a different direction. It's all Volkswagens at the Buggerama in Wichita, Kansas. Population 382,368. Today we'll take a look at a 1970 Carmen Ghia, a 1965 Volkswagen Notchback, a 66 BW Bus, and a 63 Bug. These are all coming up here on Street Rotting American Style. Support for Street Rotting American Style is provided in part by Kansas BG Incorporated, a distributor of BG products. Kansas BG is dedicated to the development of preventative maintenance service in vehicles for consumers and fleets. Kansas BG provides the driving community with products and services of automotive maintenance. More information can be found on the web at kansasbg.com and bgfindashop.com. And Ren Radio. Ren Radio can be heard from the web on your computer or smartphone, playing oldies from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Oldies like Elvis, Chuck Berry, and the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but oldies. Ren Radio is online all the time. On the web at wrenradio.net. They make you look, dream, and sometimes even wish. These are street rods, built or just owned by those who have the same passion. My name is David Wolf, and along with Simon Cormick and Patricia Brown, we travel to admire these passions. These are works of art and are designed with the personality and the ingenuity of the owner in mind. Built in garages, barns, and even under shade trees in communities all across this great land of ours. This is more than just a hobby. This is an addiction. This is street rotting American style. David. Yeah? Drop everything. Okay. We're going to Buggerama. Oh, I see. Let's do it. Sweet. Hang on, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> we're out here at the 2014 Midian Shrine Bogorama, and it is ridiculous. The day is awesome. Maybe a little bit of rain in the forecast, but we can get through it, because that's what Volkswagen lovers do. I've got Steve Town. Steve's the promoter of the show. Steve, what do you think? It's great. It uh, supports the Shriners Hospitals for Children. We've got a great crowd, a great number of cars. Uh, people have had a good time all day long, and uh, we're just really proud of what we do for the hospitals. That's, what, are we do, what are the proceeds going to? What is it going the to? The proceeds go to support the 22 Shriners Hospitals around the country. It, it's a good crowd. These Volkswagen lovers, they're all just a good bunch of folks, aren't they? they good are. cultured people, like to have a good time, a lot of fun. Well, Steve. This is a great show. I'm really excited to see what kind of cars we can find. Join us and see what we come up with. Thanks, brother. You bet. Richard, sweet black car. But tell me, what am I looking at? You're looking at a 1965 Volkswagen Notchback. In 1965, Lyndon B. Johnson announces his program to create Medicare. The James Bond movie Goldfinger was a big hit at the box office and the Moody Blues were one of the top bands. A Volkswagen Notchback, right. tell me, that, that's a rare car, isn't it? Right, they didn't sell them here in the United States. They sold them in Canada, and they also came from overseas when the GI brought one back. So that's what makes it really a, a collector's item. Right. So how did you come across this, Richard? I bought it from the son of the man that brought it from over from overseas. Oh, right, so this was brought over from overseas. Right. Good condition the way you got it though, right? Oh, no. No? Uh -huh. <laughs> no. There was, no. There was no parts and pieces on it. It was all thrown inside the car. Didn't have a motor, didn't have a transmission. So being a collector's item and hard to find, how hard is it to find the parts? The most hard part is the body shape itself. Is the, it really? The fenders, the rear fenders are hard because right. of the fact that they're made especially for this car. But the front fenders will fit uh, a, the fastback and the squareback, but uh, not the notchback. Not, not, but not the notchback. And the notchback is what makes it really the collector's item. Right. Not the right. fastback, the fastback, or the squareback. Those right. are more, They're more com common. More common. Yeah. You take it to car shows. You drive it around. Do people recognize what it is? No, they don't. They don't understand. They don't know what it is at all. They keep asking me what it is. Let's say, I've had people ask me if it was a, a Fiat. Okay, I can see sort of a Fiat here a little bit. But it's Studebaker. Oh, Studebaker? Yeah. <laughs> and also, um, they also wanted to know if it was a, a, a Jaguar, and I said, no, <laughs> not a Jaguar. What did you do the engine that's modified? I built a set of uh, intake carburetor uh, filter, air filters for it. They're, they're, they're copper? Yeah. The uh, air filters were not tall enough to get enough air to the engine, oh. so I had to figure out some way to get more air into the engine, so that's what I figured it came out with. 
Okay, you said it was all junk, it was all scrap. So the interior was also junk and scrapped yeah. out? Yeah. And How I, long did it take you to restore it then? Uh, well, I, I bought a kit and okay. I put the kit together and put it in there that way. So are you ever gonna sell it? Oh no. Never you, gonna sell it? No, it'd be just like selling one of your kids. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sell one of your own kids. You ever been offered? Yeah, I've had offers on it. What, what's the top offer you've had? Uh, a guy offered me uh, twenty thousand dollars for it. Twenty thousand. Yeah. Did you flinch at all with your elbow coming up or not? No, no. I, they were still in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> what would make your elbows flinch forward with your hand for the money? It's priceless. Nothing. I, could, I couldn't do it. Very cool. I could not sell That's it. That's excellent. Why would you pick black? Actually, it's black cherry. Black cherry. You can't see it because of the sun. Yeah, not, there not is out. no sound. We got we got a little rain coming down. We yeah. got thunder in the background, so we don't see that cherry, but it's a black cherry. Black cherry, yeah. You put baby moons on this. Why baby moons? Period, period correct on okay. it. Okay. Period correct on it. And uh, I like the look of the baby moon better than the, the chrome, the mags and stuff like that. Right, and it, it, it does really, it really makes it look slick on that chrome. Yeah. We talked about the modification on the intake. What kind of horsepower are you getting out of this? Uh, well, it's a 914 horse motor, and I'm getting 135 horse out of it. 135 horse out of that? Yeah. You ever get sideways? Uh, no, I have, no, I haven't. <laughs> you, well, you, you are smiling, though. No, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> you, you've been close? Yeah, I've been close, <laughs> but not, not completely sideways. Okay. <laughs> well, we've talked about the engine. I like to hear that engine. Would it be okay if we heard this bad boy? Yeah. That'd be great. Metal fabrication is an art when it comes to restoring a street rod. I need some education in this area, so Mark Bauer at Bauer Auto Restoration is going to show me what tools to use and how to use them. When you talk about fabrication, it means assembly, invention, fabrication can even mean lying. I am not lying to you when I tell you that out of this shop right here, Mark Bauer Auto Restoration, comes some of the finest stuff you've ever seen. Matter of fact, right behind me, we got the 56 Chevy and the Corvette frame. Awesome stuff. But Mark, you're going to help me out. You're going to tell me how we can fabricate parts together in, they, actually, that you use in a car, right? Yes, yeah, so we'll try to do that today. Well, anyway, what are we going to do that? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to build something that you can take home with you. Build, what are we going to build? Well, there might be a surprise. Oh. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, I like surprises. OK. <laughs> uh, we noticed there on the 56 Chevy has a beautiful hood ornament. Right. Um, it, we're going to build hood ornaments. Mm, no, no, we're not going to build hood ornaments. Mm. We're going to build a bird. So not a hood ornament bird, but a bird. We're gonna build a yard ornament. Okay, you got my curiosity going. Okay, what kind of equipment are we gonna use? Because right now I'm looking down here and I see the parts. I see some fenders from a bicycle. I see some rebar, I see metal. But what are we gonna to use to assemble these things? We're gonna use a variety of tools. We're gonna to use as many as we can to show you the variety of tools that we use in our trade. Such so as? Starting as a chop saw. We're gonna use a chop saw, cut off saw, grinders, plasma cutters, gas welders, and a MIG welder. All that we're going to use yep. just to make this hood ornament. Mm -hmm. Actually, yard ornament. I got that wrong. Yard ornament. But I'm going to try to put on my hood anyway. So when we come back, we're going to see how all these parts are put together using the parts and equipment that Mark uses in his shop. It's going to be cool. Do you remember playing slug bug as a child? Christy does. And now with her 63 VW bug, she helps carry on the tradition. This 1963 Volkswagen is next on Street Rotting American Style. Eat your heart out, boys. You're always giving me a hard time because, oh, sorry, there's too much flat black. Well, guess what? I found flat purple. And the <laughs> owner right here, Christy. Christy, what do we have here? What are we looking at? I love this thing. It's a 1963 VW bag, and it's amazing. In 1963, the first prototype Learjet took flight. Zip codes were implemented in the United States, and Roy Orbison was one of the top musicians. It's a little low for my taste, but I can handle no, it. No, wait a minute, Chris. <laughs> what drew me to this car was because it sits low. It's perfect. It's got the perfect rake to it. You like it higher? Uh, just a little bit, because when you're driving down the road and you hit those bumps, I mean, it knocks you, so. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. You got to admit, it's kind of cool, it's right? It's cool. It's cool. Why a 63 bug? Why a 63 bug? Me and my husband both, this is going to tell my age, but we both were born in 1963. So when we saw the bug and it was a 1963, we had to have it. Of course. That makes total sense. Yes. Why the Volkswagen? 
okay, this is kind of hard, but my brother had just passed away when we found this bug, and we used to run around playing sled bug all the time. So when like we saw everybody. the bug, yep, like everybody. So when we found the bug, we had to have it. Well, that's awesome. I mean, that's-, that's It's what, in his memory. Well, and that's what's cool about cars and street rotting in general is it's it's part of us, it's part of our heart, and it just grabs a hold of us and pulls us in. Our culture. It's our culture. It's who right? we are. And we can't let it die. <laughs> Go out and buy a Volkswagen today. What drew me to it is it's got the hot rod look to it. And I it's like, purple. And it's, I like the flat colors. People try to call it mur burgundy, but it's purple. It is. I think it's, it's purple. purple. I say it's purple. Yeah. Now, what I really like about this thing is the old SoCal look on the hood. That's very Did you cool. See the lace? Yeah, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool how they put the lace on there and spray it in there with a the clear on there? Do you now? want to know the name of her? Yeah, yes. My uh, grandson, we ended up coming, or coming up with Gracie because she's got lace. Lacey Gracie? Yeah, she's Gracie. So she is Gracie? Yeah, she's Gracie. Well, that's, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. that's very... Now, there's a lot of things on this car that aren't original. Like the bumpers are missing. Now, in 63, mm -hmm. it would have had the old overrider bumpers, the chrome bumpers in the front. You Which don't I have like. anything on there. So but people like this, so it's kind of a vote. Do I add the bumper to the back? Do I leave it like it is? It's a vote. We like it. <laughs> Get on Facebook and let us know what you think, what Christy should do with her car. I personally say overriders. She's got just the snub nose on there. It's cool either way. I let like the snub think. nose, but back bumper, do I put it on? Do I leave it off? What do you think? I don't know. It's 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 toss up. It look cool either way. What does Gracie have for a motor? Oh, that's beyond me. I just know she looks good driving down the road. Okay. Well, I think that that's the way to go. Yeah. Looks good riding down the road. That's all that's important. Christy, what have you done to the interior? Okay, um, had my son help me out and he picked everything out. And does he, he like care. working with you on it? Yeah, he is does. Is that kind of fun? Yeah, he does, he's into this stuff. So he did all the seat covers for me and he arranged to have the headliner put in. It looks sharp, it, it looks really cool. What did it look like before? It was kind of dirty, but it was okay for being old. Yeah. It was fine. And she had a lot of fuzz on the top, so we had to take that the out. Old fuzz. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. cool. Yeah. I noticed there's no radio. Are you planning on putting a radio in the future? I'd love to find a radio. I bet we can do it. But she sure is entertaining. Just enjoy the peace of the motor driving down the road. Just cruising. So, and yeah, that, we got to get a, we'll, we'll get a radio. Yeah. Speaking of cruising, do you get a lot of thumbs up driving around this thing? Actually, people are really a lot of fun in Wichita because they're always hanging out their windows, hollering at us, great car, yeah. thumbs up, yeah. of all ages. Now, Christy, what do you do for a living? I am a realtor. Do you ever think about taking your clients to look at houses in this thing? I do want to do one, get a car that's a daily driver, but this one here is kind of special. I tell you what, if I'm buying a house and you're going to yeah. go pick me up in this thing, house is sold. Okay, let's go look for houses. <laughs> <laughs> you're on. <laughs> Christy, I love your car. She Thank is you. beautiful. I have one more question for you. What is it? Can we hear this bad girl? Absolutely. Let's fire her up. <laughs> okay, we can do. All right, we're back. And Mark, where are we going to start? We're going to start with the base. The base, the so ground floor. Yeah, the ground floor, okay. we're going to start at the bottom. All right. In this case, we're going to use a disc for off of a farm implement. Okay, so we're going to the farm, getting some pieces, laying around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start there. So first of all, we need to do is get you in some safety gear. Always. Safety first. In this case, it would be gloves okay. and safety glasses. Got it. All right. Safety gear, we're ready. Mark, first step. What is it? We're going to take the cutoff wheel and cut these individual feet off. Okay, and this will be something you normally do for a car yeah, too, we right? Yeah, we use this a lot in the shop. Okay, never grab the wheel. Never touch right, the no, wheel. You want to make sure, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, 4th of July, I love 4th of July. The flowers are happening, but what's next now? Because I think we got the parts already set for us. What's next? We got the toe, now we're going to move over to the legs. In this case, we're going to use the chop saw. So we got the toes. Building it straight up. Legs are next. Legs are next. This is going to be great. great. Okay, Mark, chop saw's here. When you use a chop saw, though, for your building the frames and the bodies, what are you using it for? We don't use it that often, but when we do use it, we use it for cutting mostly round tubing, square tubing. Okay, so here Pretty we go. Pretty simple. Well, bring it in and get started. Oh, Actually, you don't really want very many fireworks going on in the no, car. No, no, you don't. Got the feet. We got the base. We got the legs. Now what's next? We're going over to the vise, and you get to try your hand at a torch. I love torching. When we come back, 
I'm gonna see if I can do this or not. How many windows do you think Riley's 1966 van has? If you said 13, you win. It's a 13 window deluxe walkthrough VW and it's next on Street Rotting American Style. Riley, Volkswagen show. We've seen different styles of Volkswagens. There's pickups, there's Gias, but now we have a bus. But tell me exactly, what are we looking at? We're looking at a 1966 13 window deluxe walkthrough. In 1966, the Houston Astrodome was built. The world's first vertical jump jet, the Harrier, was introduced and Dr. Seuss' How the Grinch Stole Christmas was shown for the first time on CBS. 13 window? That's is there's really 13 windows in this thing? Count them up. So, have you, and do you make sure? Oh yeah, it's, it's all there. So you've always counted the windows, just to make sure when they said 13 window, is that really 13 window? There's, there's so many variations of the bus, the Type 2, that that's how you distinguish between one and the other. That's how many windows there is. Yep. The one thing about the window I thought was interesting is the front windshield. Safaris. Why do they call it safaris? Because they pivot out like on the planes of the safari. And you can see right out, no problem. So you don't have air conditioning in this? That's the AC. <laughs> what more do you need <laughs> nothing, than that? Nothing more than that. You do it a lot? I do. I roll with them open all the time. Even going on the highway? Uh, highway, you a little crack. A little crack? Okay. <laughs> now I've heard there's some experience with this getting here. You found out your brakes were okay or not? Uh, we just got this back on the road for the first time in 20 years. And wow. yeah, this is the first time it's been out. It came from a scrap yard yeah. where it's set. And I've been doing work on it. And it technically was not ready, but I got it here. Technically not ready. Why not technically ready? Uh, brakes, uh, parts are missing for some brakes. And <laughs> it let me know at a red light. And I went through it. <laughs> just because you didn't want to go through the red light? No. Did you put it down? Yes, there was nothing there. Nothing there? <laughs> nothing there. Any traffic? Thankfully not at 5, oh. 550 this morning. So you're babying this thing right now? Yes. What draws me to it is we kind of like that old look and it's it's not really patinaed out, it's just a faded paint, yeah. but it, it's, it gives it a really rustic look except for the bling. Yeah. You got those radar, and are they called radars? They are called radars. Okay, the wheels. The wheels. They're unique. What, what drew you to those wheels? Uh, being such a unique pattern, that it's what they call a wide five. It's 205 millimeter bolt pattern, which you don't see on any other no, cars. No, no, so no. There, it is a specialty wheel specifically for Volkswagens. Okay. So, and old Volkswagens. And there, it's sitting low to the ground. Yes. What makes it sit so low? Um, You're not bagged. Custom suspension all the way around. Uh, five inch narrow beam, adjustable beam. Um, drop spindles, two, in, okay. two and a half inch drop spindles, and plates in the back. All right, so do you have to readjust the shocks then? Uh, no shocks right now. There's no shocks right now? No shocks right now. <laughs> They're so, in the mail. So no brakes? No brakes. And no shocks? No shocks. What, what more do you need? Who needs it? No, I don't think so anyway. <laughs> what is the future plans for this? You said it's gonna paint, but what else? Go through it one step at a time. Uh, take it very slowly. I, I rather enjoy the old look, the weathered look with the new wheels. Right. So I'm in no rush to fix it, but I just wanna make it safe to drive so I can cruise it for whenever and wherever I want. And you had it for 20 years? I have not. It, it has been sitting in a scrap yard for 15 and then it sat in the backyard for another five, and then I came across Did it. Did you know about it sitting there or not? No, I, I, I knew about it for about a month, and then I bought it. Okay, <laughs> and they just told you if it's sitting there for 20 years or 15 years or so? I found out about the history by going online and asking people, and I got a ton of pictures of it sitting in a, behind a Volkswagen scrap yard. Did you pull it out? No, a friend did. That's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Always had, get a friend to help you out. Had to cut some trees down. <laughs> Did you really? Tell the owner of the trees? Oh, yeah. He, he was done with them. Okay. Good, 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 <laughs> good. Probably done with the truck, too. Yeah. Riley, as always, can we hear this bad boy? You may. Awesome. All right, Mark. Here's the leg. Just got done cutting it. We got it here on the vise. Mm -hmm. The object now is to bend it, right? Right. I can just... Should I just bend it like this, or what's the best way to do it? Well, we're going to bend it in a certain place, and we put a mark on the rebar okay, right here. Where we're it. going to heat up with our acetylene torch to allow us to bend it a lot easier. And the reason why using a acetylene torch? Because you don't have enough muscles to do it by yourself. Says you. Ah. Uh, says everybody, actually, yeah. but I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so we use the torch to soften the metal right. to bend it. Right. And you're using, again, the acetylene torch a lot of times in 
your body modifications too, to soften the metal. Right. To bend it. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we do. Very good. All right. Let's go for it. I see the torch here. Okay. You, we turn the cylinders on. And you need a starter. I need a, something like that. I think that's going to work. And this tip right here is for just heating. This, this is, is called for, rose, yeah, this is called a rosebud tip. Not for cutting, not for welding. Right, okay. just for heating. And you, what you want to do is you want to get the, the hottest part of the flame against the metal. Okay, so right here. And how long will I hold that? You'll see it become cherry red. You can kind of work it around. So when I start to see it cherry red, that's when I start bending That's it. when you can bend it. So now I'm going to keep it on this side here, and now I'm just going to bend it down. Right there? That looks good. All right. Very good. We're there. That's one. <laughs> That's one. And we, since it's two legs. We've got, yeah, we've got we got another leg to do. Okay, we don't have a mutant bird here, so only two legs. <laughs> okay. Correct. So the legs are done. Now we just got to do the rest of the body. When we come back, I have no clue what we're going to use. Okay, I'm only halfway through building this lawn ornament, but Mark has shown me all the tools to use and how to use them properly. Next week, I hope I can finish this thing up. This Carmen Ghia is slammed to the ground and ready for surfing in Oklahoma. This Ghia belongs to Derek and it's coming up on Street Rotting American Style. Not your typical Volkswagen I found, guys. Check this thing out. It is slick. I don't know what's original on it. I don't know if anything's original on it, but I got the owner, Derek, the doc, Doctorman here, and he's going to tell us all about it. Derek, what are we looking at? Uh, 1970 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. In 1970, the AMC Gremlin sold for $1,879. The U.S. lowered the voting age from 21 to 18, and the first New York Marathon was run. Derek, the thing that drew my attention to this is the stance, man. It's just slammed to the ground. It looks sick as it's sitting there. It's even going downhill with the curb is sitting on, but it looked like it's going the right direction. Yep. What did you do? Is this a static drop or is it an airbag drop? What did you do? It's just a uh, notched beam, lowered beam, cut beam, all that kind of stuff with uh, the drop spindles on it. You have clearance issues when you hit the bumps and stuff here? A little bit. This front beam's beat to pieces. I mean, we've got that much clearance. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, but it looks sick, man. Yeah. What color is it? Midori Sour. Midori Sour. <laughs> yeah. It's not green, it's Midori it's Sour. It's Midori Sour, that's Is right. that something you're supposed to drink? Uh, yeah. On occasion. <laughs> Dude, you're from Oklahoma. I am. What's up with the surfboards? Uh, I get that a lot. Uh, we do surf. Uh, in Oklahoma? In Oklahoma. There ain't no surf in Oklahoma, man. I don't know if anybody's uh, told you this. If you, have, if you have a big enough boat, you can surf. <laughs> right on, right on. In 70, what kind of CCs was this motor putting out? Uh, 1600. So it would have been a 1600 dual port CC like no, they put? a single port. A single port? Single port, yeah, that's what I was actually in the car when I got so it. So 40 horsepower. Yeah, around about, yeah. And what do you got now? Uh, 1915. So that's quite a change, man. Yeah. We're up to about 95 to 98 horsepower now. So it'll break them loose if you need to. Oh yeah, on a 1400 pound car, yeah. You ever roll up to those guys, those muscle cars, and they were at the stoplight, and they're like, ah, it's a, it's a Volkswagen. Come on, yeah. let's go. You ever blow their doors off? No, just to annoy them, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Derek, man, I want to know about the luggage rack. Yep. They, both, they make reproduction luggage racks now, but I don't think that one is. That one looks like it's no, an original that, old school luggage it's a reproduction. It is a reproduction. It is a reproduction, but a guy in California made that for me about 10 years ago. Really? It's made from an original, though. Made, okay, so he, yeah. so, okay, right on. Same right pattern. On. That thing's cool. Now, you went with the BRMs for the wheels. Why the BRMs? Why not the Fuchs? Why not just the original? Why not, you know, the, the radars? Why'd you yeah. choose the BRM? That's just the exact look I was looking for. I it's, just like the wide blade, the right. silver, kind of ties in with the rest of the car. Right on, it, and it, it looks good that way too. Have you given any thought? You see some of the guys, they'll paint offset each other one to kind of go with yeah. the theme of the car. You're yeah. gonna keep them away. Not they me, are? man, no, that's, that's I, cool. I like the silver. Yeah, it looks good the way it is, doesn't it? Well, dude, it is slick. It's the, a beautiful paint job. Thanks. I mean, there's no orange peel in this thing. It is just a bad little car, man. Thanks. Any plans for the future with this thing? What are we gonna do? We're gonna go bigger motor-wise. Bigger than 1915? Yeah. yeah. Right? I've got a 2332 on the stand. That's a big motor for such a that's little a car. Yeah. What kind of carbs? Uh, 48s. And that's what you're going to go with the big motor. What do you got on it now? Uh, 44s. And that's enough. That'll get yeah. some flow going through yeah. that, that big motor. That's it a, does well. That's a big compressor. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool, man. Well, hey, speaking of it, I got one more question for yeah. you. Can we hear this bad boy? Yeah. Fire it up! 
Now, aren't you glad we went, man? I am. As a matter of fact, if I hadn't gone, I wouldn't have seen Richard's VW notch back. Oh, that thing was clean. Oh, it was clean. It's definitely a style that most people don't think of when they think of Volkswagen. I didn't. But I didn't stop there. Then I saw Raleigh's VW bus. Ugh. He just got it on the road, so maybe next time I see it, he'll have the shocks on it and the brakes working. Yeah, shocks, brakes, oh, whatever. Yeah. Now you tell me, what did you find? So I started out with Derek's Carmen Ghia, man. You cannot go wrong with the Ghia. Never, not with a Ghia. This thing was slammed hardcore. Sporting a surfing theme. Yeah. The dudes from Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. And of course, I had to go look for a bug and I found one. It belonged to yes. Christy. It was a 63 Beetle with a SoCal right. paint on the roof. Very cool, awesome stuff, man. And if you guys want to see more cool rides, join us again next week and see why street riding is more than just a hobby. It is an addiction. Support for Street Riding American Style is provided in part by Kansas BG Incorporated, a distributor of BG products. Kansas BG is dedicated to the development of preventative maintenance service in vehicles for consumers and fleets. Kansas BG provides the driving community with products and services of automotive maintenance. More information can be found on the web at kansasbg.com and bgfindashop.com. And Ren Radio. Ren Radio can be heard from the web on your computer or smartphone, playing oldies from the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Oldies like Elvis, Chuck Berry, and the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but oldies. Ren Radio is online all the time. On the web at wrenradio.net. <laughs>